Hi, welcome back to my channel. Greetings from me and my giant basket of empties. <laughs> so heavy. I like to save these up until I have a huge batch to share with you guys so we can just like sit down, get comfy and cozy together, have like internet bestie time, and I'll just tell you all about all the products that I've used up. It's a lot and I like to get every single drop of all my products. So I'm gonna flip the camera so you can see everything I'm talking about and I'll show you all of my trash. Okay, sometimes we organize these products, sometimes we don't. I'm just gonna dig through them randomly today. So first up, a giant thing of almond oil. Almond oil has become my body moisturizer of choice. I just think it's so hydrating and gentle on my skin. So I just get this bulk one on Amazon and then I put it into smaller containers like around my bathroom and my vanity and my bedside table. And I just moisturize the heck out of my skin with this. It's amazing. I use it mostly on my body. I think it would be okay on my face too, but more so a body moisturizer for me. Then this was a giant mouthwash that I used up. I usually get whitening mouthwash of some sort. Like anytime I'm getting oral hygiene products, I just look for whatever's whitening. So this was just the Target brand. I don't know if it really did any whitening, but I did feel extra fresh when I brushed my teeth and used this afterwards. So I would get this again. This has been my go-to hairspray for years. It's just the basic Tresemme hairspray that you can get at drugstores. It's like an old, old school YouTube favorite, I feel like. I heard about it probably from like Elle Fowler back in the day. I don't know, I've just used it ever since then. <laughs> And this is actually the bleach that I use for my hair. So it's a powder hair lightener. I'm always really hesitant to talk about how I do my own hair because it's it's pretty hardcore. Like you, you gotta really be sure you wanna go there if you're gonna start lightening your own hair. But I can link the video that I learned how to lighten my hair from. And this is just a product I think I probably learned to use in that video. So it's just a light a hair lightener that I get at Sally Beauty. And I really like the Wella brand for my hair coloring products. I think that that is a really good line. This is my shaving cream of choice. I'm always going through these big old bottles of it on my empties videos. The brand is called Coochie and the scent that I like is Frosted Cake. It smells really good, but most importantly, it's just very, very hydrating on my skin. I always add water to get every drop out of the bottle and this works amazing for anywhere, anywhere all over your body that you need to shave. I get the smoothest legs from this and it just makes my skin feel really hydrated and not itchy, which is so key for me with shaving my legs. They always used to get itchy. So I'm married to this shaving cream. This is a bubble bath. I like the Dr. Teal's brand a lot, especially their Epsom salts. Um, but the foaming baths are fine. It doesn't make like the most luxurious abundant bubbles in your bubble bath, but it's it's fine. So I use these products fairly often. This is a hemp seed one, it had a nice smell to it. And that was kind of fun to try something different for the bath. I had two boxes of these cotton puffs that I get at Daiso, a Japanese dollar store. And this is just a big thing of little cotton pads. I like their cotton pads, probably like my second favorite cotton pads. But to be honest, I'm not going through them that fast as I used to because I've become totally in love with reusable puffs. So I will have to share with you guys the reusable puffs I've been using. I'm obsessed with them. You won't see them in an empties video because they'll never be empty. I can keep using them. <laughs> but when I do use the cotton ones, for some reason, I like these ones from Daiso or the ones from Walgreens usually. This was another hair product, a dry shampoo. It smelled incredible. This brand makes really deliciously scented products. And I got this from a friend and she wrote on here, smells amazing. And whenever somebody gives me a gift and puts a little note on it, I always leave the note on it because it just like makes me happy, <laughs> so sweet. And it is true, this really, really does smell good. Like whenever I would put this in my hair, my husband would be like, whoa, what perfume are you wearing? And I'm like, it's not even a perfume, it is a dry shampoo, so highly recommended. This is one of my top all-time products of life, I think it's safe to say. I use this every single morning. It's the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Face Mist. So it's just basically a water for your face, but it has some vitamins in it and it feels so refreshing to, bl to blow, <laughs> to mist onto your face first thing in the morning. Um, it has a really beautifully fine micro mist that comes out of here. So it feels so nice to spritz yourself with. And it is the first thing I do to my myself every single day. I just absolutely love it. 
you could refrigerate it and make it extra cold. And this lasts forever. I think this is, I think I go through like one a year maybe because it lasts so, so long because of the micro mist that comes out. So love this product. Here's another mist. This one is SPF 70 by Neutrogena. This is really good to apply. I would always apply it indoors so that it doesn't like blow away and miss my skin, but I would always put this on inside and then go out into the sun. Works really well for arms and legs. I think you could use it on your face too. At least I was using it on my face as well. <laughs> I think that's okay. It has dermatologist recommended non-greasy. I think it's meant to be used on your face. No, actually it says body mist. Well, I survived. <laughs> this looks kind of graphic, I feel like. <laughs> But this is an empty thing of eyelashes. I really like the Ardell brand and I usually get Demi Wispies, but I don't know, sometimes it just says Wispies. I'm not too clear what the difference is. Definitely the Wispies. And then it looks graphic because I cut a little bit off of the lash. So it's more like a half or a three quarter length lash. And so there's like some scraps on there. I'm sorry, that looks really, really violent. But I love these. I can easily pick them up at Target trim off a little bit. I think it makes it look a little more natural. Always trim it from the wide edge of the lash. So either on either side on the wide end because it tapers naturally towards the inner eye and you want to keep that for that natural shape of the eyelash. So I just trim a little bit off the side and I think these work really great. I haven't been saving candle empties but I threw this one in here because this is one of my favorite candles. It's so silly because I get it at the grocery store for like four or five bucks. But I think it smells so good. It smells like Lemon Pledge, the cleaning supply. But to me, that's a very clean, happy scent. So all summer I was burning these lemon sugar cookie candles. And I just thought I'd show you in case you haven't caught one of my videos where I talk about it recently. This is another ridiculous thing that I <laughs> threw into my empties. I promise this is all beauty related, except for this. Um, I just threw it in here because this is going to have to be in an upcoming favorites video. Not sponsored, obviously, by the way, nothing in my videos is ever sponsored at all. But I recently discovered that these things really, really work. My husband casually mentioned that I should try these and I was like, no, that's just a scam. You always have to brush your dishes before you put them in the dishwasher. And no, you don't like this. This is crazy. It just, I don't touch my dishes at all. I put them straight in the dishwasher, throw one of these in there. Everything comes out crystal clean. It changed my life. I just, I can't get over it. Like I was always using the cheapest drugstore dishwasher detergent and now I know these actually work and it's so worth the price. So I had to throw that in there. Just a little face mask that I love. I don't save all my sheet masks, but I try to throw special ones in here. And I just think this one is so creamy and nice. This is just by that beloved brand. And look how cute it is with the cherry blossoms. This is one of my top faves. I also had a couple body scrubs. I think both of these were used in themed spa baths. So if you guys are familiar with the whole themed spa bath concept, I get a bunch of products in one scent or in one theme and create like a whole bathtub experience around it. So I did a watermelon one and a strawberry one. And if I can throw in these tree head scrubs, that's like a must for me to complete the experience. I think they make my skin feel so silky but not itchy. I'm very sensitive to getting itchy skin if products are like too abrasive and these are not. So they're so nice. And this one smelled amazing. Like I wish you could get the waft of watermelon that just came out of here. It smells so good. The only thing I'll say against this one is it had these little, I don't know if you can even see, there's a couple little black spots in the jar <laughs> because it had these little faux watermelon seed inspired pieces, which was so cute for the watermelon theme. But I had to scrub out my bathtub every single time after using this product because I would have these little seeds everywhere. So that's something to keep in mind, but it was worth it because it smelled so, so good. And then the strawberry one also smells incredible like strawberries. No unsightly seeds that you need to scrub out afterwards. And I just love this line. This is kind of funny. I don't think I've ever done a quote empty hairbrush, <laughs> but this is literally an empty hairbrush. <laughs> Um, this is the wet brush line, which is always my go-to for brushing my hair when it's wet. I really love their hair brushes. And look how beautiful this one is. It's Cinderella. I don't know if you can see, but it is just, let me see if I can show you. It, it did its time. Like the pattern was completely coming off and getting all these marks in it. And then literally one day the brush just fell out, like lost the will to brush. It was sad. 
but I just thought it was kind of funny and I would save the empty for you. And I immediately replaced it because you can still get these at Target, luckily. And it's just so cute. They, I think they have a few of the different princesses, but obviously I love Cinderella and it's just such a good hairbrush. I adore it. We have a body gel from Bath and Body Works. Winter Candy Apple is, gosh, probably like my top all time scent from Bath and Body Works. I love it. Herbal Essences Deliciousness from It Girls of the 90s your, of your of yesteryear. Like it just smells so good. And I look forward to stocking up on it every single Christmas. So I was really sad that this ran out. As you can see, it's out. I always put water in and get the last few drops. So I'm eagerly awaiting the return of the Christmas scents. It probably won't be too long now and I can restock at Bath and Body Works hopefully. Hopefully they'll have a good coupon for me or something because I love, love this smell. This is a hair product I always enjoy using, the L'Oreal Wonder Water. It's like a rinse that I do in between shampooing and conditioning my hair and it makes my hair so soft. It has kind of a little bit of like a chemical salon type of smell to it, but well worth it because it makes my hair like silk. This was a body cream that I used up. It is from the brand Sol de Janeiro and look how cute. Ugh. We're definitely saving this container. This is like new from their line and it's a beautiful pink container, which is what I was really excited about. My friend got it for me for Easter and it was just like a beautiful Easter egg. So, so cute and sweet. Um, and it smelled really good. I think it might be my favorite scent from their line. And it's always just incredible for your skin, for your legs especially. So loved this one. I don't know if I'll repurchase it because their stuff is, is a spendy, but Definitely gonna clean this out and just put other body creams in there probably so I can have the jar forever. We got some toothpaste that we used up. I always do the Crest 3D White. I don't know if it really works for whitening, but like I said, I just look up whatever is available in the whitening line and I usually try that. And so I've been sticking to this one for a few years. These are some eye masks. I just get these on Amazon. They're kind of a random product line, but they are hyaluronic acid eye masks, and I love to start my morning with eye masks every day, so I have to get really cost-efficient ones because I go through them pretty fast. I think this had 30 pairs in it, so it's like basically a one-month supply for nine bucks or something. So I just kind of shop around to see what I can find for the best deal, and I did enjoy this one. It worked really well, and I love anything with hyaluronic acid in it. Got another mouthwash that we used up. I feel like this is all over TikTok. Like if you watch any day in my life type of vlogs on TikTok, they have to show this mouthwash. So of course I bought it <laughs> and it's okay. It's interesting. It has a very unusual flavor. I don't know. Honestly, I felt like it was giving me a weird taste in my mouth after using it. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to keep using it because I don't want to have a weird aftertaste from my mouthwash and it's not whitening. So it's not my usual go-to. These are something I like to treat myself to like once every couple years if I can. They're little sugar cube. Well, they're pretty big sugar cubes, like the size of like an ice cube that you put in your bathtub water. And so I usually get like a, a jar will last me like a year because it's full to the top with these little sugar cubes. And I just like plunk them into the bath when I'm not using a bath bomb and it feels special as if I were using a bath bomb. But anything from the Fresh brand is so decadent to me. I love their, their line if I'm going to really treat myself. Just grabbing out a couple of eyebrow pens, I, pencils. I always use these by e.l.f. And I, these are in the shade taupe. I think I might dry a different shade, which is hilarious after I've gone through like, what, 30 of these probably. Um, but yeah, it's just a very run of the mill eyebrow pencil. I go through it all the time. And then I thought maybe their eyeliner pen would be just as good because I'm obsessed with the brow pencil. And it looked like it would be good. It's a nice felt tip, but I, why did I not like this? I don't know, it seems okay. It's just, I think it was like too thick of a line. I like a really thin eyeliner, so I don't know. And it wasn't very bold. It looks like I'm in jail, like counting the days, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, I, ooh, it's very rare that I won't suffer through a product, like very rare, but this was just a few bucks and it really didn't work for me, so. Sadly, I had to let that go. This was something else from my strawberry themed bath that I did. This was just a strawberry body yogurt from Body Shop. Not my favorite body cream. It's like a little bit more of a watery gel type consistency. 
and I like a really thick, rich cream. So I probably won't repurchase this, but it did smell amazingly like strawberries. These are the deodorants I've been using lately. It's the Secret brand. I like to mix up the brand because I feel like it keeps your body guessing. <laughs> so I'll probably go back to Dove brand now that I went through a couple of these. This was another thing of semi-random eye masks that I got on Amazon. They were just 60 eye masks. So I don't know. I'll try to link a couple of the ones that I've used and enjoyed, but this was one of them. I only have one of these in here, but I'm sure I used up probably like eight because I go through this so much. It's Pond's Cold Cream Makeup Remover. Actually, I'm going to take this like tiny drop that's left in the lid and get rid of my prison markings. <laughs> um, this is just the best makeup remover. I love using it at the end of the day. It's I have a whole video about how this is like grandma vibes. That's very soothing to me. And I get the most messages from you guys about this product. It's so funny. We need a whole video on cold cream. I promise it's coming. I love cold cream. It's people sleep on it in modern day, but it's a great, great vintage classic. And now I need to tissue this off. Okay, here's a product that was an absolute decadent treat for myself, but this was so nice. It's the Wishful brand and it was their Honey Balm Jelly Moisturizer and it just made me feel like I was in a little piece of heaven every night doing my nightly skincare. Oh my gosh, these last few drops are so nice. It's just a really, really, like if you don't like to be greasy, you won't like this product. But if you're like me where you like to go to bed glazed donut style, this is such a nice, decadent, rich face cream. Smells amazingly like lavender. And uh, I just, I love a little sacred moment in my skincare ritual at night. And that's what this product was for me. So moment of silence, it will be missed. On the cheaper end of the skincare spectrum, I tried a couple products from Inky List recently. It's super affordable. I think this was $5. Um, and I love products with vitamins in them for the morning. It just seems kind of cute to like give my face vitamins. And this was fine. The texture was just like nothing to write home about. It didn't have a lovely vitamin-y orange scent or anything, which is good. It didn't have a lot of fragrance in it, but um, probably not a repurchase unless I get desperate for something that's five dollars. Been on a huge Glossier kick recently. I went through a super pure serum. This has niacinamide and zinc. This really helps like especially around that time of the month if my skin is breaking out. And then this one is their super bounce. It's got hyaluronic acid so I like to use this a lot too for hydration. These are just such good serums and they're just so cute. Like so cute. I have a bad feeling and I hope I'm very much hope I'm wrong about this, but I have a weird feeling they're going to change their packaging because I just feel like millennial pink, while it has been my favorite color for, you know, since I was old enough to pick a favorite color and it will be my favorite color till I'm like a hundred years old in my rocking chair. I feel like it kind of had its day. Like it came in and out of fashion maybe in the last few years. That's, <laughs> that's my feeling. So I have a weird hunch that Glossier is gonna change their packaging and stop using that color. I hope I'm wrong. I really hope I'm wrong. But they're just kind of making some changes in general. They don't have a discount code I can give you guys anymore. So that's a bummer too. But I don't know. I might save these to refill in case they change their packaging. Cause I just love the way all the baby pink products look. But this is their face cream, their Priming Moisturizer Rich, which I really love for a night cream. I got a little set that had miniatures of all their products, which was so adorable, including this little face cream. And sadly it ran out. So I just refilled it actually with another, I think it's like Pond's face cream in here right now. But I thought it was worth keeping these containers just in case they change their packaging, but I hope they don't because I love it. I had some foundations that I went through over the summer. This was one that I was gifted that didn't work out for a friend and I loved the formula. It's by Guerlain. So of course it's just heaven scent. Um, the color wasn't quite right for me, but I happily, happily wore it anyway. And it doesn't look empty because you can kind of still see it clinging to the bottle, but I pumped it until nothing more would come out. And so that's the situation but it was so so lovely and decadent to have while I had it and the packaging is just so, so cute. So beautiful on the vanity. So that was a treat that was in the shade 00N. Um, 
I also had this foundation that was too light, but this one is just a drugstore one by Revolution Brand and the shade F4. I think I usually get the shade F5. So this wasn't worth powering through. Like I said, it's very rare that I don't power through a product, but this one was just totally the wrong shade for me. It was like really light and pink. And normally I would try to pass a product on to a friend if it didn't work for me, but I just didn't feel like that was super sanitary with this style of applicator wand. And like I said, it's just a, it's a drugstore product. It's, it's still, you know, a little investment piece, but not really worth forcing myself to wear something that's just totally the wrong color. But this was probably my favorite foundation of the summer. It's the L'Oreal True Match Nude. It has hyaluronic serum in it, and it was just like a really light, light coverage, glowy serum sort of foundation. So I thought that was kind of fun to use for the summer, like when I was just in the mood to put on a little tiny bit of coverage and then just go. So what color, what shade was this? Light medium. And I felt like that was the right shade for my skin. I really liked it just for an everyday sort of throw it on and race outside sort of product. But this is my holy grail foundation of life that I always come back to, the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. I pretty much get it in the medium shade nowadays. Like, I don't know, I have a decent tan still from summer. And you know I love a foundation when I'm willing to deal with the utter mess that occurs when you cut open a tube of foundation and start scooping out the foundation inside. But you know, it's like 50 bucks for this tube, so I can get <laughs> I can get easily like two more weeks of wear out of it once I cut it open. So that is a sacrifice that I choose to make to get every drop of a good product. And I think it's really worth it. And I really like the CC cream. It is very high coverage. Like I would consider it a foundation, a full coverage foundation. I love it. Found another brow pencil. <laughs> I truly go through so many of these. And this was a mascara that was really fun to try. I've been super into tubing formula mascaras. So this one was by the brand Cali Ray, Come Hell or High Water, and it's tubing. So that means it's really easy to remove off of your eyelashes at the end of the day. And I think those work really, really well. So I don't know if I would buy this exact one, but I'm gonna just keep buying a different tubing style of mascara every time I run out until I find one that is perfect. I think the best one I've tried so far is Thrive Cosmetics. You've probably seen all their ads and things, but yeah, this one was okay. It was cute, I'm glad I tried it. I finished a Fenty Beauty lip balm or lip gloss. This was in the Fenty Glow. I always come back to this color. It's really, really pretty and natural. Finished up this serum. This is by Peach and Lily brand and it's a glass skin serum. I don't know if it gave me glass skin, probably not. But it was really fun product to play with until it ran out and I really enjoy everything from this brand, Peach and Lily. A couple other serums. This one was by Olay. Not at all fun or decadent feeling to use. I don't know, for me, a drugstore serum is just like blah, but sometimes that's what you gotta do for the budget. So I tried this one, Tone Perfection. It has B3 and vitamin C. I don't know if it made any big difference in the tone of my skin, but I'd still rather put some serum on than no serum. So when it comes down to it, I'll get a drugstore serum from a brand like Olay, just so I have something in the arsenal that's like, pampering my skin a little bit. And on the note of pampering, if I could afford to always, 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 always have this product on my shelf, I absolutely would. The brand is Josie Marin. I love her stuff. And she makes amazing things with argan oil. And I don't buy her actual argan oil anymore because I've found, I can just get the argan oil from Trader Joe's. And it's, you know, debatably the same exact product because it's just the only ingredient is argan oil in both of those products. But this is argan milk and I don't know exactly what kind of magic turns it from argan oil into argan milk, but it has this really milky consistency and it feels incredible just to smooth a few drops of this over your face. It's so, so hydrating and glowy. And it's in this gorgeous glass jar. I mean, some products are just worth it for the luxe factor. I don't know, love this one. So very sad when this ran out. <laughs> Hopefully it will come back into my life one day, but I do recommend this. I've been using just this glue by the Kiss brand. I can easily get it at Target and add it to my Target order. And I like that it comes in a brush formula. So it's really easy to apply the nail glue onto your nail if you use press-ons. I wanna say it's like three bucks for this. So it's a really 
good cheap price, but you get like no product. It is 0 0.17 ounces. So honestly only lasts me a few manicures and I have to get a new one, but you know, for the price point, it's really not bad. We have some lip products. I'm always all about that lip hydration. First of all, this is a sad day on my channel because I've been recommending and loving this lip balm for, I don't know, it feels like a lifetime. And they stopped making it, the Bite Agave Lip Balm. So I feel like this is like one of the last tubes on earth. And it has a little product in there. And as you know, once it stops twisting up, you can still get more product out. So I will absolutely be getting my little scooper and scooping into there to take the last few uses of this lip balm out because I really, really miss this. Um, this was another great product by Bite. This is their nighttime lip therapy. I think it was basically the same as the balm, but in a little pot, sort of like the Laneige sleeping mask, which I really love for my lips too. Surprised I don't have any of those empties in here, but suffice to say I'm using that a lot as well. So I'm sad to see both of these Bite products go away because I really miss, really miss their lip products. They were so great. Haven't found a perfect replacement yet, but I do love Lano Lips. It has lanolin in it, which comes from sheep's wool, but this is cruelty free. The wool is like sheared off of the sheep. The sheep is fine, <laughs> ideally, if they're treating the sheep well. Um, but it's just wanted to reassure any vegetarians out there that this does not, it's not an actual like animal byproduct, but it comes out of the sheep's wool and it is one of the most hydrating ingredients you can get. I remember like in the hospital, they gave my mom lanolin for her chapped lips. So it is like a medical grade, really, really high quality ingredient that you can use for chapped lips. And lanolips lips makes it fun. They make it cute. This one was watermelon scented. So I really like their products, but it's not quite as convenient to me as like an actual lip balm in a stick format because you know, it's a little, it's a little juicy. You gotta deal with that application more like a lip gloss. So right now it is my go-to and I will definitely keep you guys posted because hydrated lips matter. A few more little things. I love going through little sample sizes of products. This one was incredible, absolutely incredible by the pharmacy brand niacinamide night mask and it was again in that school of like real greasy face products that you can just slather on and just go to bed with like no cares in the world just knowing that you are hydrated and in your own lane and it's like the best feeling so i loved this one i would definitely indulge in the full size of this if i ever get a chance i hadn't tried many products from the pharmacy brand because I don't know, I feel like I heard some reports of like people having breakouts from some of their products, but this one did not break me out at all. And it just, ugh, it felt incredible. It was again, like a real luxurious moment in my skincare routine. And this is another all time favorite product of life that I would never be without if I had my druthers. It's the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Serum. It is a very like gelatinous eye cream. I always recommend it when I'm talking about eye creams because it makes the biggest difference for me in my experience when I use this one. So love both of these. Just a couple final things. This was actually an aromatherapy essential oil blend, but I threw it in here because I think it is worth commenting on. It smelled so, so good to me. This one is called Balance and they have a few different ones that all smell good. They're all different blends, but I love the Balance one because it smells like a spa. It just smells like how I would want a spa to smell if I walked in. Uh, so, so good. I think I get this at Target, but it's a perfect blend. So I love to put this in an oil diffuser and it just smells amazing. And last but not least, we have this. It's just still my all time favorite hand cream of life. I'm looking for a pair of scissors because I saved the auspicious moment of cutting it open to share with you. So I'm pretty much at the point where nothing else will squeeze out of here. But as you know, on this channel, that's not good enough. <laughs> We're gonna get every drop. So this is the Rich Girl Hand Cream. I love it because it has SPF in it. And I also love it because it's on the greasy side of the spectrum. But I don't know if this is too blown out for you to see. There is so much product in there. It's like, we're gonna get all these drops out. I'm so excited. <laughs> So much, so much. So I will probably just take my little beauty spatula and run it in there to get all of the product out and then refill it into one of these other empty containers. So that's how I like to get 
those last few drops out of my products and I highly recommend doing that. If it's something that you love the way I love this hand cream and I have loved it all my life. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with me that whole time. I hope you enjoyed our just cozy discussion and chit chat, maybe get some ideas. Always, always, always my goal is to inspire you to take really good care of yourself and to treat yourself to a little me time, a little bit of self care. And if any of this sparks joy for you or resonates in that regard, please treat yourself and please make some time because these little things bring us joy and that's so, so important. And you deserve all of the joy and the love and the self care that you can possibly get yourself. So that's the message from me today. I love you. I'll be back with more videos soon. So hit subscribe and join us and I'll see you then. Bye.